12 marker. Hey, it's Jacob. Today we are falling through space. YouTube Nation features the best of what's on YouTube every day. We're about five minutes and we're featured on the homepage of YouTube. Do you ever have one of those like really great first dates where like everything goes amazing and then you accidentally murder them? It's a collaboration between DreamWorks, which is Hollywood and YouTube, which is more kind of like on the tech side, Google, obviously. They brought the best of both worlds. What we're trying to solve is, you know, the experience of going to YouTube and not really knowing what to see and what to watch. It would take hours to find what we can give you in five minutes. What people go to to find on YouTube is something that they can relate to, something that is a little bit different from TV, something that feels a little bit more personal, to sort of the natural progression of where entertainment is going. There was other people doing maybe a daily show before, but not to this magnitude. We're opening the door to a platform that has millions and millions of videos to a huge, vast audience. Let's hit Frozen in the first sentence so that we... So if you can imagine a day, our curators come in with about 30 or so videos, right? They pitch these videos and, you know, fight for the ones that should be in the show. And once we have all the videos, the writers start writing, and then we have the script ready for the next day's shoot, which starts in the morning. And we have our host in, any guests that we have in, and then we start editing, and then by six, we launch the show. Mike Deeb is here. What's up, Internet? One of the biggest... So we were kind of looking at what can we use that can sort of streamline the process because we had to move so fast. Also, the opportunity to shoot on 4K came about and we thought, well, this is crazy, but why not shoot 4K? Thank you very much. The fear was how are we going to edit all this? How are we actually going to shoot a daily show in the morning in 4K and get it uploaded by 6 p.m.? The core approach to our pipeline was to use Adobe Creative Cloud. We're bringing in the 4K native and we can just edit with it in Premiere. I don't have to transcode anymore. I mean, that's huge. It saves us hours and hours of, of headache because we're no longer having to preview, render something. We can just look at it in the timeline and play it live. Shooting 4K is amazing, being that YouTube allows 4K. We've seen comments where people turn on the 4K and they're like, my screen just exploded. What? <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at because it is such a new experience. Being on the technological forefront kind of allowed us to be thought of as pioneers. We also have After Effects integrations, so we can send footage into After Effects. We can do effects with my compositing team and send it right back. We can use Dynamic Link one more time on the way out to send to Adobe Media Encoder, where we can export an H.264 for upload to YouTube. It saves us huge amounts of time. We implemented Time Code Buddy and Live Logger to do our circle takes and our script notes right on set, and those are sent instantly to our assembly editors before we might be waiting an hour or two to copy script notes that were handwritten. If we want to affect any color settings, we have the ability to do it raw with the source settings in Premiere. And we can manage that look comprehensively through the process from shoot to the final output. We just made the decision to be an all Adobe post-production facility. And the fact that it's on the cloud now is easy because it makes it easier for us to not have to search for disks, to download and install. It just gives us an update and we just get it done. The fact is that we're shooting an awesome show that looks great in 4K with Adobe Creative Cloud on mobile platforms, on your desktop, and on your TV. And we're the first ones to do it. And being able to do it with Adobe and Adobe Creative Cloud is pretty outstanding.